Hi everybody, Patrick LaRouche here with Evolve Restorative Therapy, where I help you live an easier, pain-free life, physically, emotionally, and mentally. You can find me at livepainfreeprocess.com. So, last week we discussed about what you can do in a hotel room. This week we are going to talk about what to do on the airplane to the hotel room. Ha! How can you get to someplace vacation-wise on a beach or something like that uh, without flying? So, we're going to talk about that today. What we're going to do is you have to understand the reason why your body is going through so much turmoil in an airplane is because you're in a metal tube really high in the sky. And what happens is as you get higher up, you're away from the ground, your body starts freaking out. So, your body starts to confine itself, it's starting to bring itself in more and more, it's starting to compress itself in many different ways. So, you find yourself like this. Mentally, it's because someone is right next to you and you don't want to invade their space. So, mentally, your body is going, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, I don't want to touch this person in many different ways. As well as your body physically is going crazy because it's thousands of feet in the air. So, you have to stop and defend against this compression. You want to start learning how to expand. So the best way to do it is through breath, yes, as well as through different types of movement. I'm going to show you two tricks to do so. One, you want to fake going between your legs and grabbing somebody out of your purse, out of your book bag, out of your knapsack, anything that you have, and start learning how to breathe properly. So one of the things you can do is reach between your legs while sitting straight up. It has to be sitting straight up. You're going to reach between your legs and touch your opposite ankle, the outside of your opposite ankle, and just take a deep breath. And what's gonna happen is you're going to start elongating your spine up and down, starting to get your spine to elongate. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in the upper part of your shoulder here and the mid part of your back. And as you do that, things will start to open and expand. And you wanna do both sides. So twist ever so slightly. Do that, hold this the breath out for a couple seconds and let it go. The other one is act like you're you know, doing your air, you know, turn your air, but what you wanna do is reach up with the elbow, the elbow up, take a deep breath, is now expanding everything through here. So now you can get a nice stretch throughout your whole side and some of your back just by reaching and trying to fiddle with the air container. So up the air vent and up. Take a nice big deep breath. Expand and back down. Up. Just like that. Doing those two things, folks, should completely offset your body's protective mechanism, but you're gonna have to do it frequently because you are thousands of feet in the air. You do have someone inches away from you. So your body will try to protect itself by collapsing on itself. Defeat that, and you definitely have a nice, easy, smooth plane ride. As well as you can also pair it with walking around and things like that on the airplane, depending on how long your flight is. This will help, so folks, if you do it a lot, you can live and move pain-free. Remember, you gotta try. So, see you next time. Bye.